Hi, I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read your story, Pirate Party Reading It. Uh, no BK level 9. Pirate Party, okay, let's read it. Today I don't have a book to read, so uh, today I'll read you this book, and tomorrow I'll read this book, James and the Giant Peach. Okay, let's read it. But first, okay, let's read it. Today, okay. I will read you this story, Pirate Purdy. Okay, let's read it. Pirate Purdy. Chapter 1. On the pirate ship words, Captain Cosbomb was sad. Why are you sad? asked Ben, the cabin boy. It's my birthday tomorrow, the captain replied. I bet no one re remembers to give me a present. The cabin boy ran and told the pirate crew. The crew didn't know what to do. Where can we find a nice birthday present in the middle of the ocean? They wondered. Where they find the birthday present? They moaned. The ship's cook came up with a good idea. I'll look at something special as a surprise. She went to she went to her kitchen and looked through all her cookery books. Here's the very thing, okay. Recipe for pirate pie. Twenty ships biscuits mashed and five spoons of sugar, three lumps of butter, one jug of water. Okay, let's make it. Cook rolled up her sleeves. She put a big bowl and spoon on the table. Let's get going. The parents were eager to help. Power Busker mashed the biscuits. There are wibbles in the biscuits, he screeched. They will make the pie taste much taste better. And the sprocket measured five spoons of sugar. There are spiders in the sugar. They will taste. They will make the pie taste much, much better," said Cook. Really? Pirate Owl, Pirate Owl, scooped the butter out of the barrel. There are beetles in the butter," he cried. "They will make the pie nice and crunchy," said Cook. She scooped up some of the mixture on her spoon and tasted. Um, it doesn't taste piratey enough. Okay, go and catch me some fish. She ordered. Bring me some camels. Bring me some rope. Bring me a scar and crossbones. Bring me an old. Bring me an old scar and crossbones. Bring me an old hair, old pair of pirate socks. The pirates ran to fetch the things. They threw the fish into the bowl. They great, they greeted the cannon bars. They shared the socks. They shared the socks, and they chopped up the ropes. The cooks, the cook mixed. All in the big bowl. The pirates looked at the mixture in the bowl and shook their heads. Oh, you didn't follow the recipe, cook. I don't think the captain will like this, cook. It will be fine, said cook. It will be fine. She poured the mixture into a dish and put it in the oven. The pie cooked all night. Really, all night. And the next day, what will happen? I'm worried that the pie won't taste very tasty enough. And also, oh, I wonder. Okay, let's see. But if it can be very tasty, but I think it's okay. Chapter 2. 
The next day, the crew went to find Captain Cosbon. Captain, we have a birthday surprise for you, they said. The captain smiled a big smile. The crew set him down on the table. They knotted his napkin through his neck. They handed him a knife and fork. Captain Bowie, Captain, Cap, Captain, Captain Bowie, Ben was sent to cook. Sent to get cook. We are ready. Ben told the cook. Oh, I hope, I hope, ah, uh, I want, I really hope that pie tastes better. Taste much? Taste very good. Because, uh, because cook put all the string things. Uh, so I don't think Captain did like it. But okay, let's see. But something awful happened. Uh, yeah, something very awful happened. It was that the little cat, there is a little cat, and the cat, the cook, Can you guess? Cook tripped over the ship's cat. The pot flew up into the sky. It flew over the side of the ship. It fell into the sea with a loud splash. Cook went to the side of the ship and peered into the water. I think I can see it. The pirate's fishing roads were nearby. Cook grabbled, cook grabbled a road and fished for the pie. I've got it hooked, said Cook. I've got it hooked, she cried. Cook and Ben pulled and pulled. It seemed very happy. That's not the pie, said the cabin boy, said the Ben, when he saw what was on and on the line. Yeah, no, it's something even better. Better? Really? Oh, something better. What's something better? Come on, the captain is waiting. Yeah, captain is waiting. At that time, the captain was not uh not feeling very good because they took very long. And the cat and the pirate, the captain said, "Why are we waiting?" Chapter three. Why are we waiting? It snapped just then. Cook marched in. She put something on the table with a great thumb. It wasn't a pair of pie. It was just a treasure chest. The crew stared. It was a treasure chest. The pirate crew scared, stared. The cook gave some wink at them, to them. The captain smiled another big smile. Well, this is, is a nice surprise, he says. He opened, he, he opened the treasure chest and it was full of gourd. It was full of gourd. Head for the nearest port crew, said Captain Cosbon. We are going to have a party. <gasps> Hooray! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. When they reached the port, they went to, went to the score and crossbones in. The captain went, the captain crossbow ordered lots of food. Pirate Sprocket had his violin, Pirate Orr had his drum, Pirate Busker had his flute. They played music while the other pirates danced. It was Captain Gosbon's best birthday ever. They danced. The pirate dance. What's the pirate dance? And how to dance, pirate dance. Lift a leg for all to see. Slap your hands upon its knee. 
Clap your hands behind your back, then give the other knee a wag. Three paces to the right, you hop. Then right and round you go. Don't stop. Next, put one thumb upon your nose, and with the other, touch your toes. Okay, bye. I want to go to the pirate party too. Okay, bye.